Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time, I ended up stumbling upon a new comic book shop after I had lunch with my dad and my son. We um, ended up going to the shop, and I ended up picking up two books. One's a major DC Silver Age key. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so when i do put out some content you get in a timely fashion like i said this was um i think this was like mid to late january so it's been a while i haven't had a chance to record i've been slacking on the recordings but um ended up going out for lunch uh with my dad and my son it was his birthday beginning of the year so i ended up taking him out that weekend and um we went out to eat at a restaurant in, like, Warren, Rhode Island. It was, like, a Portuguese-style restaurant. It was pretty good. He loved it. And we had a little bit of extra free time, so ended up looking to see what was in the area. It's kind of like one of those things I, I do on my phone. It's, like, uh, when I have free time, I try to see if there's any antique shops, flea markets, um, thrift stores, or comic shops. And there happened to be one that, you know, popped up. It was only about 10 minutes away. And I was like, all right. Let's go check it out. So it was in Bristol, which is if you've never been to Bristol, Rhode Island, it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely check it out. But um, there was a comic shop there. It was called East Bay Comics. I'll put all the information in the description. So you guys, if you're in the area in Southern New England or, if, you know, you have some free time, they do have an online website that they have some of their books posted. You guys can check it out. I did not have a chance to record any footage uh, i was there like i said with my dad and my son and my dad probably would have been like what are you doing you know recording <laughs> in a store probably he thought it was something suspicious but uh <laughs> so i didn't do anything like that so i just was doing some digging um ended up getting my son he he saw a puzzle there that uh, caught his eye so i ended up buying him a puzzle and uh ended up buying two comics um they had some really cool books a lot of modern books copper bronze and silver age um was just looking around them for nothing specifically you know because i don't my 2023 goals list is uh essentially you know i'm not really hunting for anything you know any books um so it makes it more fun as a collector to just go out there and just you know not have to have kind of like blinders when you're looking for books you just go out there and have fun and you know whatever you like you just buy so um Ended up um, spending, I think it was just over $400. I bought two books, and um, I'll start off with the first book. Uh, I thought this book was pretty cool. It caught my eye. I've seen this book before, but, um, you know, but I just never had the chance, chance to buy it for a decent price. And um, he had this one listed at uh, $20. And this is Blade issue number seven. I think this is from volume two. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but this is just a cool. I, I like yellow covers, especially in the golden age. But this one was a really cool cover. Um, this is featuring Deacon Frost. You know, just a nice cover there. You got Blade there in the bottom and Deacon Frost. Deacon Frost is one of uh, Blade's, you know, arch enemies. But um, just a neat cover. I picked that up, you know, not, it's not near mint. I think it's probably like a VF copy, but, um, really nice copy. And then, um, the other book I ended up picking up, this was the, um, one of the wall books that they had there. They had a nice little wall section. It had some, um, amazing Spider-Man, like Silver Age, um, some cool DC keys, like, uh, first Barbara Gordon, first Harley Quinn. And, uh, they had some first appearance of, um, uh, Venom, but I think he was asking a little too much for that grade. But um, some of those books they do have listed on their website, so check it out if you have some time. Um, but this book caught my eye. I've never had the opportunity to buy this book in the wild, um, and it was a you know decent price. I'll tell you, this is Batman issue number one eighty one. This is the first appearance of Poison Ivy. It's a great villain. Um, if you're not familiar with her, you know she's just a really cool character. And I think just recently she had a, a, a solo series, if I'm not mistaken. But um, really cool. One of Batman's, um, you know, villains. 
really great book to pick up from the Silver Age. Um, the pinup is inside. I made sure I, you know, you always want to make sure you inspect your books, especially high dollar books. Uh, make sure all the pages are there. I opened it up. The pinup was there. It was attached. Um, there, you know, it's not a, it's not, it's not a high grade. It's a low grade, as you can see. There's some defects going on here. There is a little cut there going through the side of, uh, of poison ivy. I don't know if that was from a previous owner, um, or what, but uh, it, it presents really well, you know, considering it's a low grade, and uh, you know, it's. I'm gonna end up. After recording this, I'm just going to open it up and read the story because I've never read the story either. And then uh, what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll uh, get it pressed. Um, I don't know if it needs any cleaning or not, but and then just send it off for grading because it's it, it presents really well, you know. So, uh, but that's it. Um, quick video. Like I said, I'll uh, drop the information down in the description if you guys are in the area or if you want to check out the, the comic shop. It's uh, East Bay Comics. Um, if I have some more time in the future, I'll uh, go there and maybe record a little footage and get some more time to do some hunting because there was a lot of uh, long boxes that I didn't have any time to, to hunt through. I was just basically going through like the, um, the bronze and the silver age stuff and then what they had on the wall. So uh, definitely a lot of, you know, books there. It's a rather new shop. So um, some good stuff in there. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought, and uh, until next time, Mark Perfect Comics.